Ron Harris here from MuscleDevelopment.com at the grand opening of Carbon Culture USA, location number two in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. I'm standing here with John Call, who you probably know much better by his names on Instagram and YouTube. Let me say this right. Jujimbufu? You got it. First of all, John, where does that name come from? I made it up when I was a 13-year-old and I got stuck with it, man. You made it up like you were like drunk or what? I was trying to make a screen name that no one had that didn't have numbers at the end. And after half an hour of spending my time trying to pick something no one else picked, I just went, Juji Mufu. And then it logged me in. And I'm like, oh, I guess I'm Juji Mufu. And then I started using the screen name and now everyone knows me as Juji Mufu. Never, never changed it. So all I know about you is you do cool, goofy stuff, lifts and all kinds of interesting stuff. I've only seen a couple of videos, but I saw you on uh, Tosh.0. I've seen you on other shows, Ridiculousness, I think you were on. Sure. I'm sure you've been on a million shows. Yeah. But what is your athletic background? Because you look like you were an actual athlete before all this. Uh, yeah, my I started with Taekwondo when I was 13 and transitioned to acrobatic freestyle tricking, which is just you teach yourself how to do flips in your backyard, yeah. you know. I moved on to power lifts to improve that because all the best athletes in the world lift weights. Got addicted to that <laughs> at the expense of uh, my acrobatic moves. And then in my later 20s, got into bodybuilding because I wanted to look like I work out, not just work out two hours a day and I had nothing to show for it, your physique. And then I just kept track of all of it. I just kept up with all of it along the way. So now I do everything. Okay. So how did you start on YouTube? Or what was the first thing you remember doing that, that people paid attention to? I've been making videos since I was a kid before social media existed. I was posting videos online. You upload them on servers. You do right-click, save target as of these zip files with these MPEG files, and you watch them. And then social media comes out 2005, 2006, a little slow to adapt, mid-teens, 2000s. Instagram, okay, let's try this out. This looks easy. Boom. I've been doing it my whole life. You know, I just put them on this place now, and then everyone no took notice. So, you know, you have, everyone's trying to get followers and views in this, and, you, you know, I, I always say the people that are the most successful are the ones who, they don't get into it for that. Right. They're not, they didn't say, I'm going to be an Instagram star, I'm going to make money. Yes. What, you know, when you started making these videos, what did you really want to do? Just share something with the world? Yeah, exactly. I just wanted to amuse myself. I was just making these videos and sharing them with my friends and stuff. And I've been doing this for 18 years without getting paid for it. And then I just happened to be able to monetize it, you know, when I was like 30 years old. I was like, oh, I can make money doing this if I do it this way. And then, yeah, I'd be doing this anyway, if, even if I didn't get paid for it. So if, I, if my income stopped now, I'd still do it. That's the difference. If you're trying to do it just for money when you're just starting out, you're never going to do as well as me because I do it because I fucking love it. And I mean, you know, people don't watch these things unless there's something that captivates them, something that really interests them. I don't know if you've ever asked yourself this, but what do you think it is that, about your videos, about your personality that draws people in? Because it's got, you have over 3 million people following you between YouTube and Instagram. Yeah. So there's something about you that people really like to watch you. You know, I don't want to, I don't want to say I am genuine or authentic or down to earth, but that's what people tell me. They just feel like they can relate better to me. They connect better with me. They uh, have a sense of humor about myself and it makes them feel good about themselves. I think it's just a feeling people get when they watch. They just get a good feeling from it and it makes them feel like it's okay. Like fitness is something that isn't like just for the elite. It isn't just for the super serious people that are always talking about sacrifice. It's for everyone and it's fun and you should do it. <laughs> What is your most popular video? What were you doing in the video that, of yours that got the most views of all? Uh, that'd be the one where I was doing a chair splits with weight overhead. That's the one I saw. Yeah, that's that's the most part. That's one that started it all for me. So I posted it on Instagram and it went viral and that started everything. It was a snowball. When I saw that, I said, because uh, I followed CrossFit because my wife did CrossFit. I've done it for many years. I said, this guy would be awesome at CrossFit. Have you ever tried that? I don't like Olympic lifts. That's one thing I don't do. And a lot of CrossFit has a lot of uh, clean and jerk snatches and a lot of that's endurance and stamina. Um, I'm not really into into like trying to fit a workout into a shorter period of time. I, I respect CrossFit athletes and the amount of effort and, and, and work it takes, and it's hard work, but uh, CrossFit's not for me. So you almost broke the internet when you recently announced, you posted a couple pictures saying you finally went a bodybuilding show, because did you do one when you were younger or no? No, Was see, it goes right back to what we were just talking about. I was getting shredded for summer for fun. No one does that, I just, I just wanted to do it. And then people were like, dude, you should enter a bodybuilding competition. Like, I think you do okay. You, you you could place really well. You could even win, perhaps. And I was like, okay, I'll enter a competition then. But I want it to be a big one. So it's going to be the Arnold Amateur in March of 2021. So I'm 24 weeks out. And, uh, yeah, so, but I'm, I'm lean now. But I wasn't prepping for it. I just happened to be getting lean for fun. There's a ton of pros walking around, and they're all coming up to you and 
because you know the way bodybuilders do it is they don't diet and get in shape until it's time to. Yeah. They don't do it just for the hell of it to look good for the summer or whatever. Yeah. So you were getting bombarded with people saying, "When's your show?" Exactly. And they were getting upset when you said it was like six months away. Yeah, they were. They didn't like it. They're like, "What are you doing? You should enter a show now." But there's no shows now that get me excited. I want to be excited. About, I want to do something big. I want to stand next to the big guys. I want my first show to be big. I don't just want to go to a high school somewhere and, and win. I want to. I want it to be big. So that's why I chose the Arnold Classic Amateur because I think that's a big one. Yeah, and if you win that, Arnold gives you the trophy if you win the overall. Sure. And you get a little interview with Arnold on stage. It's awesome. That'd be great. Yeah, I could go for a trophy from Arnold. Who couldn't? <laughs> I think it'd be interesting. Are you going to document it? Are you going to do like a blog? As oh, as yeah. Ready Everything on our YouTube channel. Uh, YouTube.com slash Jujimufu. Instagram.com slash Jujimufu. I mean, I'll just be posting updates and you follow the process. We do the vlogs. and Yeah, you'll see what we're working on to get it done. Your YouTube channel is, is it Tom and Juji Mufu? It is, it is, it is Juji and Tom. Yeah, the URL is slash Juji Mufu to find it in order to find it. But yeah, Tom is my best friend. He's my training partner. We do the channel together. He works super hard. He's super supportive. I couldn't do it without him. He's my teammate. So proud to be with him and we'll be making the videos together and he'll be working out too. And it'll be, a, it'll be fun, man. I'm so excited. You know, that's, I think that's the whole thing. The reason people really enjoy your stuff is it's fun. You don't take yourself too seriously. You're clearly enjoying it. You're having a great time. And that's what fitness, it's not supposed to be, you know, suffering and in the dark while thinking about your next chicken breast and you know thinking about the 40 minutes of cardio you got to do at four in the morning the next yeah. day you know it's it's people like you that make i think they inspire people to work out more than the ones who make it look like it's a grind and miserable right. so keep doing what you're doing man you're doing an awesome job thank clearly you. people people are into it and it's a it's a cool thing so thank you, thank so you john much. call hey, for the interview. alias jujumufu <laughs> thanks so much for muscular, muscular i think that's the name of it thanks for watching <laughs>